I don't know if it's so much a benefit or a necessity to have snowmaking at a ski resort, unless you're perhaps in an area that gets a tremendous amount of natural snowfall. Here on the East Coast, our weather being as variable as it is, it can be 50 degrees in December or it can be 10 degrees in December. A lot of people may not realize how much snowmaking capacity we actually have here at the mountain. We'll put down anywhere from two to three to four feet of base across an entire trail and then we maintain that depth through the course of the season. We actually capture all the water that we make snow with through a system of water bars and streams and bring the water, divert it all back down to our snowmaking pond as it melts. So we actually get to recycle the same water molecules over and over again. So that's pretty neat. You have nights where you're out on the hill just fighting to keep the system running, fighting to keep guns going and not freezing up. It's a challenge to make sure you have the right amount of water flowing through the pipe to keep that pipe warm enough so that it doesn't prime up and bring your operation to a halt. There's nothing more satisfying than just seeing a gigantic pile of snow, a trail with a few million gallons of water on it, you know, that happened overnight. Yeah, there is something magical about that. I've seen some pretty amazing things. Pretty much every large mammal that North America has to offer out there, moose, bear, deer, coyote, while I'm working on the hill. It's not just the work, it's, you know, being out in a beautiful spot that keeps me coming back.